Hey guys, I'm back here on Sickers Tower Defense. As you can guys see, I'm here with a couple of subscribers. We got Zanic, we got Nobody, Moon, uh, I think Red too. But we got many, even though it's not subscriber, they are uh, many fans of mine. But we're here doing another video for you guys. As you guys can tell, I signed a lot of your guys' units and you guys loved it. So if you guys want me to do more songs, let me know in the comments below. And if I have forgot about you, don't worry, I will be there to uh, sign your unit. But we're doing an interesting video here today. Uh, if you guys come over here behind, there it is. All right. So look at this. It says beat dark room for one percent chance free drone unit or buy now. now. As you guys can see, if I go to my inventory, uh, we have the drone just a girl. Uh, I heard she's like monster queen, monster queen, sorry, but not as good. But she does the same thing because she is an AOE. So let's check out her stats. So she's one fifty. Max damage is two thousand. That's not bad at all. A uh, one cooldown and max out at 0 0.3. The range is 10, maxed out at 25, and she has a 20 placement, which is crazy. That's 10 more than Monster Queen. And if you guys didn't see, I signed it, and I have the Wrath upgrade, which is insane. Let's go to Monster Queen, guys. All right, so 500. She uh, Monster Queen starts out with 2,500 max damage. So if you go over here to Drone, uh, it's 150 for her, max at 2,000. So I can see from that perspective, Monster Queen could be a little bit better. So one, uh, a one cooldown with max out at 0.2. Now if you go to the drone, Jester Girl, 0.3. Now range, I think Jester Girl got it because range for Monster Queen is a 15, maxed out at 35. And drone is 10, maxed out at 25. Never mind, Monster Queen is still better. Now the placement's a little bit different. Max is 10 for a Monster Queen and for drone it is 20. So like I said, you get more, you get 10 more placements with drone Jester. And I do have a better upgrade on my Jester than I do Monster Queen. Now, if you don't know what Monster, uh, the Wrath, um, upgrade does, you work your way over here to the upgrade section. It is a 1% chance. Here it is. Boss, uh, does a damage plus 25%. A boss damage of plus 50%. And it does stack. So, that's insane, guys. So, let's go try this out really, really quick. Um, why not? Let's go do Dark Room. Uh, let's start it up real quick. Alright. I'll, I'll show you what I mean, what, how good this unit really is. I mean, like I said, it is a 1% chance for this. I have to do a shout out to Blaze. I'll put his, uh, YouTube in, uh, up top, up top for you guys. So you guys can go follow him on his YouTube channel because he will be making content for this game as well. Alright, so she doesn't have any uh, animation yet. I don't know why. She just sits there. I hope they really do fix that because she's just sitting there like, hey, what's up? Uh, but yeah, uh, so damage is 210 right now. Cooldown's 1. Range is 10. And it costs us 500 to upgrade her for the next one. So, like I said, 20 placements, guys, that is a lot. So I'm going to start putting a lot of them down. So boom, boom, boom. Like that. Alright, so yeah, she just. Yeah, she doesn't, she just, she does damage, but she just doesn't do an animation, which is, I don't know if that's just meant to be that, or it's, they're, they're, they're meant to fix that. But like I said, there's a 1% chance in this, guys, which is insane uh, chance to get. Like I said, it is a rare unit. I would say do this maybe with some alts, maybe get a couple alts in here, and maybe have their luck at trying to get this. Like I said, it's, I mean, I mean, it's so, it, it really is for being a legendary, and like I said, it's only 200, so this is for some of the easy, uh, some of the, like, say if you go into, like, Nightmare Hard, you need, like, those 200, uh, money, uh, units to get you started, this is for her, and she does a decent amount of damage, uh, that or, uh, let's say Elephant Plushie, but this is, I like, I do like this tower overall, like I said, she doesn't do any animation yet, I uh, hope they do, will add an animation towards, for her, because it's kind of boring her just sitting there not doing nothing besides this, uh, whatever that is that's just on her back um but we're gonna upgrade her now she does 280 0.5 cooldown and she has a 13 range right now so looking pretty hefty as i say so but yeah she's looking she's doing she's doing pretty good so far i'll put down another one don't know if we might get down the, the all 20 uh placements because that's a uh, it's quite a bit if you ask me myself I'm not saying it's overkill but it is pretty good uh yeah, I've been farming this for a pretty good long time, and I was thankfully for Blaze to help me out and give it to me. Um, like I said, uh, he's a real one. Shout out again to Blaze for giving me it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go upgrade her again. So 500. 
Now the crazy is when she does level three, the next thing it drops down from 140 to zero, and everything goes down, which I don't understand that part. But it goes back up to 420. The uh, cooldown stays the same, but there's an, uh, a plus eight to her range. I'm not sure why it goes down on one of the uh, levels when you upgrade her. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a bug or that's meant to happen, or that's part of the whole upgrading her. But that's kind of weird though. But like I say, she is, uh, like I said, for a legendary, she is pretty good. Uh, she's one of those, uh, she's one of those you, you'll probably, you, you'll need during your nightmare runs and your hard runs, you know what I'm saying, for two, for costing only 200. Um, because pretty much everything when you start out at nightmare and hard, you need something in that, uh, money-wise section. If you don't have plushies, and her being what she does already, like, coming out of the gate is pretty good. Alright, um, now I think there's only six. Six, I believe, levels towards uh, the drone Jester Girl. Um, like I said, we're only going to put down the Jester Girl. I don't think I need to put anything else down. Because we shouldn't have anything trouble on her. Like I said, this is only easy. I don't need. I don't think I need anything other than her. But if I see myself in trouble, I will put down another unit. But yeah. Going back to the unit. Uh, going back to the signatures now, guys. I hope they do fix the um, the cooldown on that. 15 is not bad. You have to wait the 15 cooldowns. Then you have to go um, rejoin after the 15 minute cooldown is settled, which kind of sucks. Um, to me, um, they could do something about it. But I think Steven did do something about it. I think if you have a private server, there's like a button you can hit that automatically forces out of that without regarding that, and you can just go through the once you trade, you can hit the button and it trades back. But, but yeah, I think the signing is really good. They'll get people playing the game when they see YouTubers signing their units, and they'll make them uh, play the game more and more. It's like, oh man, a YouTuber! I can't wait. They'll give them more excited to play the game. You know what I'm saying? And just having that signature on a unit just makes it <laughs> very cool. All right, now we do have enough for this just the just All right, there it is now, guys. So stats all fully upgraded. Now. Since I do have Wrath on it, it's 2,800, uh, 0.3, and a 25 cooldown. Now, I think she was at 2,000, but that Wrath upgrade made her at 28. She is 300 more than Monster Queen at 25, but... That doesn't make her better. Yes, yeah, better with the upgrade, but we'll have to upgrade. She's still, she's still a monster, I think. She's still good. Uh... Yeah, I'm not going to put all 20 down, because <laughs> I don't think I need all 20 down for this showcase. I don't want to overkill this. But yeah, uh, I'll, I'll try to get more of these sign, uh, more of these uh, ranked up. But all in all, I think the I think the tower is, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, well, she has the gesture, obviously, a hat, uh, the mask she has on, you know, the outfit. Uh... I think she's wearing, not, uh, she's not, I was about to say, I thought she was wearing heels, the whole, uh, whatever this goes to her, I guess it goes to her, uh, attire, I guess you could say, but yeah, if they, if they had an animation to her, that would be pretty dope, because I think every other tower does have an animation besides her, as far as I know they do, I mean, I don't think I'm missing any other towers that don't have any, uh, animations, but yeah, they do need to add an animation to her, to her, to make her look somewhat, you know, likable, or just standing there, is not doing her a justice. I mean, yeah, she's killing stuff, but I think an animation would top off her whole character, if you know what I'm saying. Don't have to be a fancy, I don't have to be a fancy animation, guys. It just has to be somewhat convincing towards her character, you know? Uh, but yeah, like I said, Dark Room. The map in, see, the Dark Room map in general is pretty cool. I mean, look at everything. They have, your, they have their pictures. I mean, you have your book, uh, toy shelf, uh, big, big dice, you know, everything. Fake blood, I actually want to call it fake blood riding on the wall along with the cool pictures. Kind of like horror pictures, you know. But yeah, 1% chance of getting this. Um, there's people I've seen get this in 4 to 5 tries, guys. But like I said, it I think it still depends on how good your luck is on this game. Like, your luck can be absolutely horrible, it can be absolutely good. Uh, my luck is... I'll put it between the, I'll put it between the lines of 50-50, it is mediocre. Not good, not too bad. It's just at the middle, like I said. Um, most, of, most of the units getting this game are usually uh, luck-based. I'm trying to get it. Like, say if you're getting um, 
your clown because you need mythics now you can't you can't get the mythics the easy way which is i think if you're going on the mythic pity system you need around about twenty-seven thousand to actually get a full mythic like the for the mythic pity if you're doing it that way or that or you just have tons of luck um from the potions of one and hope for the best i was just hope i was lucky enough to get some of them like you know um clown stuff like that i'm still on the look for my glacial host i am meant to do a showcase on the glacial host now if you guys want to slide your boy a free glacial host you know from me you know what i'm saying let, let me know i'll sign it give it back yeah, hey that's just me guys but uh, we are in coming on the last round guys and like i said um so far so good um uh, could i beat this on hard sure nightmare uh maybe maybe i don't want to test my luck and you know try it out but she she might though she might be, be able to handle nightmare uh but at 20 placements at 200 a cost hey i'm fair game give me you can give me all the drone just drone at jester girls all you want it does a lot really uh but like at 2800 0.3 25 that's the stats are looking pretty good hollow dogs coming to an end can we get a drone jester girl on recording this video no we cannot but it's all good guys like i said But that is the Drone Jester Girl. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys have liked this video, go ahead and smash the like button down below. And subscribe to the channel if you have not. And guys, go ahead and turn on that notification bell. Let me know what you guys think about the Drone Jester Girl. And your guys' opinion is it an W unit or an L unit. But like, let me, like, like I said, guys, if you need more of your units signed, let me know in the comments below. So I don't get any of you guys that I haven't signed yet or still need unit signs. Well, that would do it for this video, guys. Be safe, stay frosty, and guys, I will catch you guys in the next one.